Skalusia here, bringing you another episode of my Minecraft FTB Infinity Evolved Expert Mode playthrough. I got through all of that. And today, uh, we are going to continue our, our trek to Toast Power, which means I need culinary generators, among many other things. And so I started reverse engineering that because if you remember from previous episodes, like we were working our way up to... We were working our way up to getting uh, plastic. So I got eight plastic sheets now. Big damn deal. Finally got there. I can make more. I have the capability now, so that's exciting. So then I realized, okay, to make a culinary generator, I need um, this weird squishy tofu stuff. And to make that, I need a presser. But to make a presser, I need like a lot of different seeds and different things. And, and I also need... Uh, so I'm going to need a market to get that. But the market is, as you can see, not cheap either. And it's not that, like, emeralds, yeah, that's a pain in the butt. But, I mean, like, I can trade with villagers for that. Um, the watering can, I need corn seed, kiwi seed, and beet seed. That's a giant meme. That's actually really difficult if you don't have all of those seeds. And then for the market itself, I need these berries, which we can only find in the wild. Like, you just have to find wild berries. And I'm sure I've like walked past wild berries like that, and then just never and just didn't pick them up because it's just like whatever. I don't need berries right now. And then, like I just you know what I mean like I didn't have the you know foresight to be like ah, I really need that. So first I need to check to see if I have these seeds on hand so that I otherwise we gotta go finding villages and looking for them. So beet, corn, and kiwi. So that's my first thing. I'm gonna look for that. All right, so we got beet so far. I think I got a lot more in here. Yeah. Oh, 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 and berries. Uh, what kind of berries do I need? Raz, blue, black, and and what? Candleberry. I don't think that's a thing. Uh. Okay. Oh, but I have it. Okay. So I don't think it's a thing, but I have it. So candleberry. I have corn. So you would think I have corn seeds. Uh. Let's see, and there's blueberry right there. See, we're getting there. Beet. Okay, corn and kiwi. All right, so let's look at seeds first. There's not a lot of seeds in here. It's mostly food. Actually, I don't see any seeds. Okay, so corn and kiwi, but let me check the actual farm. Oh, that looks like a kiwi. Aha! Punch! Unfortunately, I have to break my kiwi thing because I need the seed. All right, so we got kiwi. Now I just need corn. I have corn in the chest, so you would think I had a spot where I was growing corn, but you'd be wrong, apparently. Ah! Punch! Nice. Okay, so we can make a watering can, technically, right? Yeah, bone meal, steel, and a bowl. All right, let's do that. Watering cans are actually crazy OP and really interesting, too. Uh, do I have any room in here? I do. Kiwi... What else did I punch? Corn. Uh oh. Do I have five steel? Man, expert mode is no joke. We make watering cans out of steel on this side of the block. Wow, I have exactly five. All right. That's unfortunate. So, oh, and bone meal. Um, bone. I guess that makes sense. The bone meal. Yeah. Oh, I had a bowl. Shot. Dang it. Because it makes things grow. So the fact that you need bone meals. Oh. That's not it at all. Wait, the recipe for a bowl is different? What's the recipe for a bowl? Slabs, really? Expert mode, really? Slabs? That's actually... Actually, that saves you wood, technically. That's interesting. Anyway. Uh... So this, a little bit of this. Uh... Deal... Oh, I only need four steel. Oh, I get to keep one. And then... Of course, I don't remember the order. Ah! Yay! All right. Oh, God. That's good, though. I, that means I get to keep the little place marker for where the steel goes. Meh. Oh, wait. No, that's not even where it goes, though. Oh, no, yeah, it is. Uh, no, no, no. Just slap that in there, I guess. Or slab it in there. Huh? Okay. And then find places to put stuff. Sawdust. Oh, wait, didn't I actually have a... I can't wait until I set up the system where I no longer have to remember where stuff goes. It just automatically tells me. One thing at a time. 
All right, so I guess we just need to. So the anyway, the watering can will do exactly what it sounds like. It waters uh, crops and makes them grow like way faster, like way faster. Um, let me see if I can give a quick demonstration. So like our sprinkler system like helps to speed it up a little bit, right? But so then you just right click. And you can see everything is like, you can just like literally watch it growing. It's kind of hard to see it because there's already water effects from the sprinklers. But trust me, I'm watering things right now. And you can see how fast it's growing. So, uh, and it's way faster with crop sticks. So like if we had fresh seeds here, I could show you that. But we don't and I got to move on. So, but unfortunately we're going to consume it to make what we're trying to make. But yeah, it's a good item to have, especially, oh, and it doesn't work for botany and stuff. But otherwise it's pretty good. So we got to find berries so i've got blue and candle right that's these two so i need black and raspberry and then like i said the emeralds ironically is probably the easiest part of this whole thing um let me i'm gonna go quickly empty out my inventory so that i have as much carry space as possible Ooh, i should bring a crate with me Ooh, that crate i need to i'm in water I need to... Yeah, we're going to go get it. We're going to go find... I think I have an empty crate somewhere. Yaha! I have two empty crates. Plastic. Always take a bucket. Never know when you'll need a bucket. And just had a thought, and then it immediately left my brain. I was thinking, oh, you know what would be a good idea to bring? Ah, yes, the juicer. In case we get, like, a lot of berries. Because berries don't do crap all for, like, food. But with a juicer, they do. Uh, let's look at our map, shall we? So, should probably go places I haven't already really been. So, let's go, like, north. Let's go past the village and go, like, north-east-ish. Makes sense. Actually, oh, shoot. I'm trying to remember. I used to have a... There was a couple villagers that, like, had really good trades. And I, I can't think of what it is right now. Like, something really easy, like wheat or paper. Something dumb. I was going to say, we could stop at the village and trade on our way, but we'll do that later. So the reason that we're doing this, just so you know, is we need the market. Because once we get to the market, we can get whatever seeds we want. Um, and some of the seeds that we need are actually pretty hard to find. Because we need a presser, which is celery, asparagus, oats, and cabbage. And I think I have one or two of those seeds, but not all of them. And, and they can be kind of like a pain in the butt to find. They can be like shockingly rare. So while I'm traveling the the great, and actually I really need to be paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm just like walking like, yeah, I'm going northeast, but I forgot like, no, I'm also looking for like bushes and stuff because I actually need berries. It's like, we're not traveling because we want to travel. That's just a bonus. We're traveling because we need to find berries. But yeah, so um, I wanted to mention that this is the first video that I'm recording with my new setup and my partner in crime. So I've got, um, I changed up my setup. I'm going to have a video probably uh, in the next, like, uh, within a month, I would say, probably. If not, like, by the end of January, then definitely, like, early February. Uh, showcasing the new setup, like, how I have everything laid out. What the fuck? Oh, no! No, 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 no! No, I'm dead. I'm dead. Nope. Uh, I don't even know why I was swinging my sword. There's literally nothing I could have done with a sword to fix that problem. And I'm pretty sure we can't get that stuff back. Any of it. Uh, I need to just like... Uh, I, don't know how to f I don't know how to fix this. Um, I'm just going to go out there bare-chested and see if there's a way to fix this. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, I've got... Oh, God. It's so annoying. I've got... Um, this new setup, and so I have two desks now. So a lot of you that like like regularly listen to me, like you already know that I've got um, two computers. I have one for gaming and one for recording. It it makes it it's uh, significantly more complicated, but it can it can help with the quality and everything. Um, but I also have a friend that can help me now. So I have two desks instead of just the one where everything's crammed together. It's nice and spread out in my office with two separate desks. So he's manning the controls over at uh, the recording computer, making sure that all that's going smoothly and taking notes about what's going on, like me being 
devoured by a hungry nodes. That's what that was. So that was a hungry node for those of you that never messed with uh, Infinity Evolved or don't know anything about Thomcraft. There's these different nodes. They're almost completely invisible unless you wear special glasses. Uh, you can usually only see them when you're right on top of them. And a hungry node is exactly what it sounds like. It just eats everything around it. That's why there was kind of like a small hole in the ground there because it ate the ground. As soon as we got like caught in it, it's like a black hole. It just sucks you in and devours your life. And usually like there's not going to be anything I can do about it because you have to break it. Oh, look, there's berries. You have to. It's like it's already drawing me in. I'm like 10 minutes. You can see, look at all the particles. I'm being, I'm not pushing anything. I'm being drawn into this right now. So the only, really? So the only thing I can think of is maybe I can try to come at it from underneath and break my tombstone so that I can, this isn't gonna take long at all. If I can break my tombstone, Hopefully it doesn't eat all of my items. Mmm, brains. And then, um... Yeah, so, I don't know, but I don't... See, like, it eats even, like, the ground. So, like, I don't know that I'll be able to actually get in there like that, but... Oh, of course, there's stone in the way. So I might have to at least get, like, a very basic pickaxe. Uh, which, I mean, I can make a wooden pickaxe. Oh, shit! My sword! Whoa, What? How did my sword go flying away? That should have been, like, part of my uh, tombstone, yeah? Oh, I hope the hungry node doesn't eat tombstones. How did my sword go flying away? Hi, little ender guy. That's really weird. There's a lot of little ender guys. That's actually... Oh, hi. That's actually really bizarre that my sword went flying away. Like, usually when you die, all of... Oh, he killed the ender guy. That's unfortunate. What the hell? What did he... Oh, because he killed the ender guy. Yay, ender pearls. <laughs> Yay, free ender pearl. Um, God, there's a lot of creepers out here. Yeah, all my items should have gone into a tombstone. So why did one of my items go full off? For the love of God. I actually really need uh, gunpowder, too. So this is actually okay. If I can survive this and get my crap back. Because I had all my pickaxes on me. I had all my tools on me. All my good tools. We just made that watering can, and I didn't store it. And I'm not going to be... Look at all the particles getting sucked up into that thing, man. Oh, it's horrifying. Um, So let me... Yeah. Let me... I'm going to have to make, like, a wooden pickaxe, like, just so I can try to get through that stone that's in my way really quick. I need one more. Get out of my way, leaves. Stupid hungry node, and it's stupid hungriness. It'll literally eat anything, including all my items. So I don't know... I don't even know if it... I mean, it might have already. I don't know... I've never encountered one and died before, so I don't know if it actually eats uh, gravestones. Oh, dang it. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Expert mode. I can't just make a freaking pickaxe. Oh, wait. No. That was a... Wait, I thought you could make a pickaxe. First of all, I was trying to make a wooden axe there, but I thought you could still make a pickaxe. It, just, it was just shitty. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it has, like, five durability, but, like, that's fine. That's all I need. I just want to break a few pieces of stone oh god it's like sucking me in look at this crap stop it yeah i can literally break five pieces of stone so i gotta be really specific here about what i break but we're also gonna have a lot of dirt in our inventory which we can actually use to our advantage maybe we can wall ourselves off from it uh i think the only reason i'm not being sucked in right now is because of this dirt uh, uh, I need to see. Okay, I'm going to break this and just keep holding back for now. Oh, God. It just went flying up into him. All right. I don't see a tombstone. This could be bad, guys. Because that's my death spot up there in the air. Which would have created a, a block of dirt for the tombstone to go on to. And then the tombstone itself. So it's entirely possible that he ate the tombstone, which means I would have lost all my items, guys. This is going to be a huge setback if that's the case. 
fucking hungry. Anyway, there he is right there. That really dark black circle. That's why it's hard to see them. Um, I'm going to go with yes. He ate all my stuff. Uh, except my sword. For some bizarre reason. So I guess the only other thing to do... Oh, I know why. Because when he ate the... Well, that kind of makes sense then. So when he ate the... Uh, yeah, yeah, there's an axe. Yeah, see, now we're looking for items. That's the name of the game. Look for items. So when he ate the tombstone, it would have broke, which would have, like, made the items pop all over. Really? Look, I don't have time for your shit right now, Splinter. When, um, when he broke the tombstone, it makes the items pop out, like, violently. But because he's, like, sucking things in, like, some of those items would have just been, like, thrown violently away rather than getting, like, sucked in and consumed. So he literally ate all my shit. But look, here's a shovel. Yay. So at least we're finding some of it. So we just, we need to search the area, because every tool that we find is going to save me 30 minutes of my life. Because honestly, now, to fix this problem, I'm going to have to do a lot of work off camera. I mean, we just made the watering can, which, that's my fault for being stupid. I shouldn't have had an item that I didn't actually need to bring with me, on me. Especially one that was kind of difficult to make. Like, it wasn't really hard to make it, but, I mean, it wasn't easy either. And... Because I don't think I have more of those seeds. Now I have to, like, re-find those seeds. So I'm going to have to go to villages to find those seeds. But the pickaxes, which I was hoping I could find at least one of those. Really? Well, me and my one fucking heart. Um, yeah, if we could have gotten at least one of the pickaxes. Because they... I can remake them, but... Uh, those were, like, kind of crucial. Like, the shovel, like, that's a piece of shit. And, like, I mean, the axe was kind of expensive. I'll give you that. But, like, yeah. The pickaxes were the more expensive thing. I'm trying to remember what else I had. Honestly, God, I'm going to have to look back at the footage because, thankfully, I recorded everything to see what I had in my inventory when I set out. At least we got rid of a lot of other stuff, though. Like, I didn't have the plastic sheets on me, bikes, for example. Like, that was a giant pain in the ass to make those. Um, I had armor, but my armor was shitty. Um, which is another problem. See, like... I started swinging with my sword because that's what I had in my hand. I immediately knew what was happening, but I just kind of went into panic mode because I pretty much knew that there was nothing I could do to stop what was happening. If, however, I had, like, really nice armor, like, really good armor, um, I would have survived a lot longer, and then while I'm being thrown around in the air, I would have had a chance, at least, to break the node with a pickaxe, and then it just, and then it just, it just dies. You just break it, and then it's done. So... I could have done that, and that would have saved the day. But I had really crappy armor. Remember, all the armor that I was wearing is armor that we found in villages. We've never actually made any armor. Because most of the armor that we can make in the game that's worth a damn requires power. And our power is still pretty crappy. That's why we're doing everything. We're trying to get toast power. So, I don't know. We may have to take a slight diversion, because it's going to take me a while to rebuild. I'm going to have to do that. And then once I rebuild... My inventory, um, before I go back out again, I feel like making at least some sort of, like, decent armor would go a long way to making my life not suck. So, that's a possibility. Uh, why did I click on that? So, I need food. I don't think I have any toast handy, so I'll just make some really quick. So... Um, yeah, I think the best thing for me to do, man, this is like not, this is a lackluster episode as far as achieving goals. We went the opposite direction for goal achieving. I don't want to pulverize her, goddammit. No, what? I definitely was looking at this. Give me toast. Okay, so, yay, I'm getting my health back. Uh, yeah, so we took quite a few steps backwards. During that whole nightmare. Um, trying to just think about... Why do I still have this if it's at zero door ability? Whatever. Um, uh, I'm just trying to think. Alright, so yeah. This was not the episode that we got a lot accomplished. I apologize for that. Let me drain my XP. So, probably the best thing for me to do now would be to go ahead and review my footage to see what I had in my inventory before I left. I'm going to like take basically just write down a bunch of notes of what I had. And then off camera, 
I'll take the time to rebuild the inventory. Because that would honestly be, like, at least an entire episode worth of stuff. Just to, like, rebuild my own personal inventory. The next episode, maybe... We're either going to do two things. We're going to head back out to look what for... You know, just to get back on track. Looking for what we got to look for. Or... Uh, I might be working on building some kind of, like, just some kind of armor. Any kind of armor at this point would be good, because now I'm naked. Um, but I'm not sure, like, what would be the best way to go. We don't have a lot of power, but I do have, you know, some power. I have a million RF in storage, anyway. Uh, just can't generate a lot of power. So, like, once... If I needed something that, say, took a million RF, like, I could do it, and then it would just take a long time to get the power back, so... It's possible to build some kind of decent set of armor. Uh, it just depends on what that armor would be made out of. So I'm going to like kind of review my options off camera. Figure out how I want to go about that. So the next episode, hopefully my inventory will look similar to how it did before. I should be able to improve my, my tools though. I've got some decent materials in the smeltery. And I've got a lot more machines now than I did before. So, I'll try to do what I can to improve my situation a little bit as far as my tools were that I lost, like the pickaxes, namely. And I'll recreate the watering can. That's going to be a pain in the butt. And then whatever else might have been in my inventory, I'll check the video. Like I said, we'll see what's what. And then when I return, um, yeah, we'll either do armor or go back out on our adventure. So, sorry that we didn't get a lot of cobbles today. It was exciting. Because I got eaten, but uh, not exactly what we were looking for. So thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate the viewer support, as always. And I will see each and every one of you on the next episode. Later!